Yo, what is up guys? So we're gonna be taking a look at Cardians today because it's an archetype that never did like anything to my knowledge. This deck, it came out, people were like, dude, this is really strange. A lot of people thought this deck was like broken when it came out. They like, expelled uh, a bunch of monsters from the deck. They have a lot of really good cards. But the deck, it didn't really do anything. However, when you incorporate some of the uh, cards with some of the link cards which we will get into it's not so bad uh, and it has a little bit of potential because I feel like if they get a link monster the deck can be definitely pretty good uh, especially with the card that just lets you splash someone like four monsters from the deck that's a pretty good effect but uh, nonetheless we're gonna be seeing it today via greed's build it's actually pretty cool but this guy's playing some light ray element sabers now uh, gear free was kind of a difficult card to get up because it's five or more with different names but that's pretty easy with element sabers and then this one is like a shan it's once per day you just negate a spell or a trap uh, however, Cardians also have a card that's uh, basically a Sheehan. Every deck getting a Sheehan, every deck gets some towers. <laughs> but uh, anyways, he's going to go ahead and special summon a bunch of monsters without using the spells, because obviously this card will negate. Now, he's going to go ahead and make Light Flare. And what's funny with this is, like, as of right now, I don't think anyone knows how to battle against Cardians, because I, I wouldn't either, because I haven't seen anybody even play the deck. Now, the deck is even better with Grinder Golem. Well, let's be honest, every deck is great with Grinder Golem, all right? We're not even going to see it in this duel, but once I show you guys what it can do with Grinder Golem, it's pretty good. Uh, anyways, uh, so the main card that you want to actually be busting out, which we will see time and time again, is Light Flare. So it's a 5,000 attacker, and it has a Sheehan effect. Once per turn, either player's turn, you get a spell or trap card that your opponent does. And then whenever it goes away, you get to spell summon Light Shower, which is another key card in the deck. Basically, it's the towers of their archetype. And uh, it's not only a towers for itself, but your opponent cannot target Flower Cardio Monsters you control with card effects, and also these monsters cannot be destroyed by card effects. So, can't target them, cannot be destroyed by card effects, and uh, sometimes without the field spell, this deck, uh, it just can't get over like larger monsters, unless, of course, you're able to get rid of them. I believe Power Rex still targets its effect. Uh, Wind Rose is not really a card I would recommend in Element Lords, but the, the Gear Free was kind of cool. I thought that that was a really good addition, because it, it makes the turn one play much better for Element Savers, but at this point, like once Light Shower comes out, it's kind of difficult for some decks to deal with, as you guys will see. Now, at this point, uh, he just couldn't get over that monster. Just too strong. But we're going to go ahead and check out what you can do with the deck. Uh, actually, hold on. I want to I go over this one, this replay first, because this is a much better uh, turn one play uh, that the deck had uh, utilizing, of course, Grinder Golem. I, I know some people are like, oh my gosh, it's another Grinder Golem deck. Guys, Grinder Golem is like tour guide, but better. Like, I don't know if any of you guys remember back when every single... It didn't matter what deck you were playing. You played tour guide. It didn't, it didn't matter. Tour guide was just like required in most decks. And... In the OCG, I mean, they got it hit for a reason. It was featured in a magazine uh, that, you know, it was just so good. And I can't blame them. The card is good. All right. Let's see what we can do turn one with Cardians using Grinder Golem. Like I said, every deck kind of really needs to run Grinder Golem. If you kind of want to be competitive, uh, first turn Scoldy is just so powerful. And over here, you guys are going to go ahead and see a really good play uh, where he's going to be able to make a Light Shower uh, turn one. And then also we have Firewall and Scoldy. Now, again... Light Shower is really key in the Cardian archetype because not only does it protect all your Cardians, but uh, you get to start burning your opponent for uh, some damage. And that can be actually really strong, uh, especially uh, when they just can't deal with it like really fast. I, I, I know Kaijus could deal with it, but he's got Scoldy, he's got Firewall Dragon. Now. He does have the like Icarus attack, so got rid of the other two monsters over there, the Link monsters, but he can't get rid of these with card effects, so his Solemn Strike, even though it negated, he can't destroy the card, and that's something that I think a lot of players don't realize, like, he's just gonna take 1500 points of burn damage every single turn, and so basically, he's on the clock over here, he's like, yo, I'm gonna go ahead and go into rank 4, and I'm gonna try to flip that back into the deck, but you can't do it, <laughs> because uh, he cannot target Cardian uh, cards, uh, and he cannot destroy them. So, that definitely uh, is a problem for some decks. And this other guy over here, he's going to be making a boss monster. Uh, heck, every deck has a boss monster. It's going to be another Grammar Golem turn one. Uh, but, but for the first duel, I mean, you guys can see, he didn't really need uh, the Grammar Golem. Obviously, it would have helped him. Uh, but this is kind of how the deck evolved. Uh, otherwise, it would be like the same play. It's just to show you guys that a lot of decks that are not, weren't considered viable um, are a little bit more viable because of links. And... I think that that's cool, but at the same time, it's always like the same stuff. It's it's always Grinder Golem, the firewall, like four firewall dragons turn one, right? Uh, 
Uh, <laughs> but the thing is, uh, someone's gonna be like, dude, dude, how do you make four five wall dragons? You, you can actually do it. Anyways, that's the video topic for another day. But the more important thing is, is that Scoldy actually makes so many decks. But I almost feel like this card is gonna get hit. Uh, let me know if you guys think this card is gonna get hit. Like it's just, it, it's just too much advantage. Turn one over here, and he uh, again has Scoldy out. He's got a fire wall dragon, and he's playing against the Jack Knight. And this card is basically a towers. Although now it, does, it is linked to something. I don't know if that's the smartest move. Uh, simply because in this deck though, I know that uh, Light Shower can technically get up to enough attack so it can like crash into it. But if it doesn't point to anything, uh, it cannot be destroyed by your uh, opponent's card effects and they can't target it. it. Again, it's like it's their version of Towers. But he's going to go ahead and go into uh, Light Shower. And he has enough attack to crash into it. But uh, he's not really looking to do that yet because he can just attack into it. And he's going to go ahead... And activate that effect, move the other monsters, which is actually a pretty cool move over there. Uh, so he's trying to make it so it's unaffected, but at this point, uh, this card has 4,300 attack. And in addition to that, uh, technically the other uh, Synchro monster, the Light Flare, which we actually did see, uh, it's, it's got 5,000 attack, so it's it's running over everything. He's going to go into Instant Fusion, go into Raging. He was looking to actually put this card face down, but it wasn't going to happen because, uh, yeah, this card uh, makes it so Cardian uh, cards uh, cannot be uh, targeted or to be destroyed. It, it was at too much of an advantage, uh, really, is what it comes down to. But that's a showcase of Cardians because I think that uh, some people just didn't remember the deck, and that includes myself. Like, I did not think that Cardians were viable at all. Uh, but now seeing what they can do with Lynx, I mean, it really comes down to Scoldy as well as Grand Dragon just being so powerful. Uh, making a board plus Light Shower is, like, more possible now because Light sh uh, light Shower was, like, basically your, your entire investment was, like, turn one, you could make Light Shower or Light Flare, but you'd go super minus doing that. And... The deck, I would say, doesn't really have a good comeback mechanic in terms of, like, top decking after you've lost something via Kaiju effect or whatever the case may be. But, again, it just helps out the deck quite a bit. And if you guys maybe have some of these, because, honestly, all these cards are, like, really cheap. So, you can build the Cardian, like, core really, really easy if you, you know, have a couple dollars lying around. Obviously, the extract can get kind of pricey with some of the cards. But, for the most part, uh, if you don't have these cards... Might not be looking at a very competitive Link deck anyways, but let's go ahead and get started with the deck profile. I'll briefly explain some of the stuff. Uh, I did play Cardians a while back. I tried to make the deck viable. It was really difficult. I just kind of felt like I, I just kind of bricked, honestly, a lot. Uh, but obviously with Grand Golem, that definitely helps out with consistency. I also was considering running Allure of Darkness now that it's at 3. I mean, you have so many dark targets, that's pretty good. Uh, but you guys can let me know your thoughts. Shouts to you, Greed, for building a Cardian deck that, I mean, it's it's not like super innovative, but you did show that it was quite viable, even without Grand Golem with the first duel. Like I said, that, that Light Ray uh, deck uh, with the Element Sabers, I kind of want to build that now, that's cool. Sometimes I like seeing what other people uh, uh, run and uh, I get inspiration, but... Anyways, let's go ahead and go over the deck profile for any of you guys that are interested in maybe trying out the deck. I'll briefly explain some of the cards. Uh, they have some amazing spell spell support, like Flower uh, Gathering. If they get a Link Monster, this could be a very viable uh, deck. It just, again, depends on what the Link Monster does and if we get one for the Flower uh, uh, Cardians. But uh, I feel like everything is getting Link support. I mean, even Gladiator Beast did, but that one was kind of mediocre. Hopefully, we'll get a Crystal Beast one, right? But anyways, uh, Flower Gathering. So you special on four... Flower, Cardian Monsters with 100 attack, and different names from your deck in attack position. They have their effects negated. Also, they can be attributed. Uh, you don't actually want them per turn. Now, the, the main downside with these Flower Guardian is that you cannot normal or special summon other monsters during the turn you activate this card, except for Flower Cardian Monsters. So, basically, it allows you to go for big plays. Uh, however, you're limited to Cardians at the end of the day, and again, y you would be making these cards. Obviously, that makes it less minus to go for these, but uh, it again, the links help out, but you can't really utilize it too well with that. But maybe in the future when we get a Link boss, that would be so good. But anyways, let's get started with the deck profile. So, uh, we're running two copies of Paluna with Phoenix, and then two copies of regular Paluna. So a lot of the uh, Cardian support is all about like drawing an extra card and, well, you draw a card, you reveal it, and if it's a, a Cardian monster, you get to special summon it, and then you can use that other one's effect to get extra cards. So it kind of has this momentum play where it's like, oh, you get this, 
You get another card, another one. It is random technically, but there is a card called Flower Stacking that can actually work really well with the deck. So you choose three Flower Cardian monsters uh, with different names and you get to stack them on top of your deck in any order. And then during your main phase, except for the turn that was sent to the graveyard, you get to banish it, uh, target a Flower Cardian monster in your graveyard, add it to your hand. So you get to kind of recycle some stuff. So it's like, it, it's, it mitigates the neg one that you technically would be going, but you get so plus off of like the first effect anyways that it's actually worth it. But anyways, um, so how the uh, cardians work, once again, is sometimes you get rid of one monster, and I'll, I'll, I guess I can briefly explain each card. But anyways, uh, Polona with Phoenix has an effect where uh, you tribute one level 12 flower cardian monster except for itself, uh, and then uh, you get to summon it. And if this card is spell summoned, you get to draw one card. If you do, show it. And then you can spell summon it if it's a flower card, and otherwise you send it to the graveyard. And whenever this card inflicts battle damage, which you guys did see uh, them do, you can draw a card. And then next up we have the Flower Cloud and Polina. This is without the Phoenix. I know the card looks very similar, but that's just how it, it is. Anyways, uh, while you control a level 11 or lower Flower Cardian monster, which is actually everything in the deck uh, minus the Flower Cardian with uh, Polina with Phoenix, because everything else is going to be lower level than uh, 11. So... Basically, if you control another one, you get to special summon it. And then um, this one has a restriction that uh, you also cannot normal or special summon monsters for the rest of them except for flower cardian monsters. And then when this card is targeted for an attack, you can negate the attack in the battle phase and draw a card. So this is like their battle figure, if you will. Uh, and then next up, we have two copies of flower cardian willow. Uh, so this one has the effect where uh, you tribute one level 11 flower cardian monster except for itself. And then... Uh, if this card is special summoned, you get to draw one card and reveal it, and if it's a flower card, you get to uh, special summon, otherwise you send it to the graveyard. And then this one has a bonus effect, where uh, if this card is used as synchro material, you can treat it and all other synchro materials that have a level as uh, two, so it just helps you make out some of the uh, other cards much easier, because you're going to have a bunch of cards, and obviously synchroing with like 12 is a little bit difficult. Um, I was even thinking that it would be cool to see a level eater build of this deck, because these cards have such high level that you could potentially run level eater in this deck. And this is where I wanted you guys to be really innovative and make like a deck that was Cardians. I know that th there are some restrictions, like again, where you can't summon anything except for Flower Cardians, but I feel like some people could be pretty innovative and you could probably abuse level eater in this deck more than anything because the monsters are like very high levels, but well, there is one that's technically level one, but most of them you're gonna be able to level eater off of like four or five times a piece and that can be really deadly. But uh, anyways, Next up, uh, so we have Willow with Calligrapher, and then we have uh, three copies of regular Willow, which is actually a really strong card. But anyways, this one over here, uh, when you control level 10 or lower, you get to go ahead and uh, spell summon it. It has a restriction, you can only go for uh, Flower Cardians. Uh, and then, once per turn, you get to target one Flower Cardian monster in your graveyard, you put it back on the deck, and then you get to draw a card. So it resets your engine and gives you draw power. Next up, we have two copies of Maple with Deer. Um, I'm not sure if I'm too much of a fan of this card anymore, because most back row gets rid of the monsters, but uh, you tribute one flower cardian monster except for itself, and then um, when it is special summon, you get to draw a card, and then show it to your opponent. If it's a flower cardian, you get to get rid of a back row. Uh, eh, it's okay to just go through cards, but uh, getting rid of back row, again, I feel like most people will just get rid of the card before it would be able to activate its effect. Um, but next up, we have three copies of Grand Golem. It's kind of staple in most uh, Link variants of uh, decks. And then we have two copies of Zebra Grass with Moon. Um, so this one over here lets you uh, special summon it by tributing a level 8 Flower Cardian monster, except for itself. And if this card is special summon, draw a card, show it, and then special summon its Cardian. And then the bonus effect that it has is once per turn, uh, if this card destroys an opponent's monster by battle, you can draw a card. As 2000 attack, it's okay. Next up, we have uh, two copies of Zebra Grass. So, uh, if you control level 7 or lower Flower Cardian Monster, you can just spell summon it, and then you can't spell summon, uh, it has that restriction of, you can basically only go for Cardians, and this card is no or special summon, you can reveal any number of Flower Cardian Monsters in your hand, you shuffle them back, and then you draw the same number of cards, so this is like your consistency in the deck. We have two copies of Clover with Boar, so, uh, this one tribute summon a Flower Cardian Monster except for itself, and then draw a card if you... Uh, show a, uh, a flower cardio monster, you can destroy one monster your opponent controls, otherwise you send it to the graveyard. So this is like, uh, this one, the, the deer gets rid of the spell and trap, and then the boar gets rid of monsters. I like this one much more, I, I'm just not too much a fan of maple deer, but... Next up, uh, next we have the peony with a butterfly. So, this one tribute a flower cardio monster except for itself. This card is special summon, you get to draw a card, show it to your opponent, and then you get to look at the top three cards of your opponent's deck and then place them in any order. 
and then uh, otherwise you just send it to the graveyard. And then when this card is used as a uh, synchro material, you can treat it and all other monsters uh, that have a level. That's two, so it can kind of help out with that play uh, for going for things. Anyways, uh, next up we have uh, two copies of the Cherry Blossom with Curtain. So uh, this one has to be special summoned by its own effect, which is uh, you reveal this card in your hand, draw a card. If you do, show it, then special summon this card if the drawn power is a flower uh, cardian monster. So basically, we got to reveal a flower cardian. And then uh, during either player's turn, either player's damage step, uh, you're, if whenever you're a flower cardian monster battles on opponents, you can discard this card and it gains a thousand attack. That was actually relevant uh, versus the Jack Knight card. Uh, it just helped him get over without having to crash the uh, light shower. But yeah, uh, that's just like it's like bonus effect. And then we have Pine Crane. So this one lets you uh, special summon it by tributing a flower cardian monster. And this card is special summon. You get to draw a card. If you do show it, then you could special summon. It, if it was a flower card, and so again, it's like the standard one effect, and then uh, at the end of the battle phase, if this card battled, you get to draw a card. And then lastly, for the archetype, uh, we have Cardian Pine. So, Cardian Pine's effect, uh, it, if this card is normal summon, you get to draw a card, and you show it, and then send it to the graveyard unless it's a flower Cardian monster, then you can only use this effect of it once per turn. If this card uh, is destroyed by battle and sent to the graveyard, or and if its owner's possession is uh, destroyed by an opponent's card effect, Sent to the graveyard, you get to draw a card. Uh, then we have Flower Stacking, which I already went over. Now, Super Koi Koi is almost like Enchanted Fitting Room. You execute the top three cards of your deck and special summon as many Flower Cardio Monsters um, as possible, ignoring their summoning conditions. Obviously, that works quite well with Flower Stacking. Uh, and then um, their uh, levels become two, and their effects are negated, and you banish the remaining cards face down. If you do, you lose a thousand life points for each. Um, then you can banish this card from your graveyard and tribute one flower, uh, well, I'm sorry, one monster to special one flower cardian monster from your hand, ignoring summoning conditions. You can only activate one of them per turn. Uh, next up, we have the Reincarnation. Nation. So you target a flower a cardian monster your graveyard, add it to your hand, then you can add, uh, then you can special one flower cardian monster from your hand, ignoring summoning conditions. And if this card is sent to the graveyard by a flower cardian monster effect, you can excavate the top five cards of your deck. If you do, you get to add one excavated spell and trap card to your hand. And what reminds you of a Curry Bandit, if you guys rem uh, my, uh, remember that guy. And then uh, lastly, we have Flower Card, uh, Flower Gathering, which is a special summon of four monsters. This is really where I feel like the deck has potential. Again, if the deck gets any Link summons in the future, or Link cards in the future. I feel like, again, this was an archetype that a lot of people were really excited about. When we first got it announced, a lot of people were like, dude, this, this deck is broke. It's because we first saw, I think, this card uh, when it was, like, leaked, and then, like, we saw some of the, a lot of the other cards, like, had, they all were all about, like, draw power, and people were freaking out. The deck just wasn't really viable, but it might have some potential in the future. Again, it depends what we get. But uh, anyways, next up we have Light Flare. I already went over the effect, but it's that 5,000 one where whenever it goes away, you just special summon uh, Light Shower. You can go for other things, but it's going to be Light Shower. And it's also, it also has that effect of negating a Spore Trap. And then we have uh, three cards of Light Shower, one copy of Board Fly over here. Uh, we didn't uh, see it in the duel, but anyways, uh, if a Flower Card Monster you control at hacks a defense position, you do Piercing. And then once per turn, you get to banish one flower cardian monster from your graveyard until the end of your opponent's next turn. Your opponent cannot activate effects of cards in the graveyard. Also, they cannot special summon monsters from the graveyard. Really good against a lot of different things, like zombies would definitely lose out a lot from this. Um, next up, we have Moonflower. So uh, her effect is once per turn, you could activate this effect. Skip the draw phase of your next turn. Also, draw one card. If you do, show it. Uh, then you can special it if it's a uh, flower cardian monster, ignoring its summoning conditions. And if you do, it can attack directly this turn. And then also, when this card is used as synchro uh, uh, material, you can treat it, it and all other synchro uh, materials that have a level as level 2, because it also is a tuner. And then next up, we have Boy Load, Skull Deep, uh, Firewall, Decode Talker, Action Magician, Security Drag, Link Spider, and Link Karibo. But uh, anyways, let me know you guys' thoughts on Cardians. Um, like I said, I think it's just kind of a, a deck that it just didn't really take off and uh, no one's been talking about it, so I figured I'd give it some light, but you guys can let me know your thoughts on it down below. What would you guys do in this deck? Honestly, I would just throw in some Allure of Darknesses, which would also technically be another spell card, so you can run that other card that lets you search out Grand Golem, because, let's be honest, most decks are just like maxing out Grand Golem, playing three of the copies of the card that searches out Grand Golem anyways, and with Allure of Darkness, you'd have more spells anyways to give to your opponent. Uh, although they could use Allure of Darkness, where a lot of these other cards they can't really use because it's only for Flower Cardian, so you would give them a useless card. Uh, especially since you can only activate uh, one of the Flower Gathering uh, once per turn. And 
a lot of them, uh, this one also has an effect where you can only use this effect of it once per turn, which is the whole, like, banish thing. Not that it really matters too much, because you won't be using it in the same turn anyways, but you just give it to them. Uh, also, if you give them Super Koi Koi, that would be pretty terrible. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, anyways, let me know if you guys would change anything. Like I said, I, would, I was thinking Love Eater would be kind of cool. Maybe I'll try this deck, but uh, enjoy trying out this... Uh, Real budget-friendly deck. Again, I know the extra deck for some of the Link cards, but those are, like, relevant for, like, every Link deck, so you might just have them anyways. But thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, drop a like on it. And if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button for more innovative Yu-Gi-Oh decks. Uh, hopefully. Again, links. We'll get a Link Monster for Cardians soon. TM. Thanks for watching. I'm signing out.